Hi everybody, I am Honda Pro Jason in Las Vegas, Nevada at SEMA 2019 and I have had my mind blown. This place is unbelievable. Probably the best SEMA I've ever attended and everyone I talk to says the same thing. So what I'm going to do with you guys today is I'm going to walk you guys through and I'm going to attempt to show you every single Honda in the event. I know it seems like a big call but I have some really cool stuff to show you and a giveaway and that's where we're going to start with. I'm at the Honda Data booth where my car is prominently displayed. And what I'm gonna do is I had my friend Christian from Visionary Print come out with these boards for me. These photos were taken in the Nevada desert just days ago. Put on boards, I have three of them. I have this style, and then you guys can see these two right here. And all you guys have to do to enter to win this is just tell me in the comments which of the cars, which of these Hondas are your favorite. So I'm gonna show you Honda's throughout the video. Pick your favorite, put it in the comments. I'll pick three winners. And these boards, so you know, these are three of three. I will be autographing them, but there will not be any more made with these photos on them. So you're gonna have something really cool and really unique. And again, shout out to Christian for that. You rock, brother. Get him in just in time. So now, let's check out the show. Starting with, of course, my car. My car's here in the Honda booth. I took the hood off, showing off some of the new Spoon Sports parts. Showing off my new titanium inlet, my Rampage, of course my carbon fiber Venturi box, new upgraded turbo from Pure Turbo, and if you back up a little bit, you can see my 271 intercooler. I don't know if you guys remember, my car was at SEMA last year with Orbis, a rear wheel drive conversion, but it was up in the air and it was hard for people to see, so I'm so happy Hyundai invited me back to show off the car here. And what's even cooler, we have videos of a time lapse of them building my car. Because if you remember, this car is originally black. We painted it Phoenix yellow. And they have a time lapse of them completely ripping the car apart. They'll be playing behind me. Honda had a big announcement yesterday about their new fuel system upgrade. So this is going to provide people up to 30% more fuel than before. Small side note, my voice, it's Vegas. I'm going to have to deal with it. Let's check out the Spoon car with Daisuke from Spoon Sports Japan. Hi, and nice to meet you. We are in front of the Spoon Sports car and we're going to tell you a little bit about it and what makes this so cool. So Daisuke starting in the front, all new bumper, right? Yes, uh, this is for a new bumper yes. and uh, this bumper is no uh, look, only looks bumper. This is for performance parts. Ah, uh, of course it's Spoon. It doesn't just look good, but it's also functional. Yes. And that's what all this, this is all for air to come through. Yes. Right? I'll tell you what I like most about this, yeah. is that you can paint it in different directions. You can paint this black, yeah. you can keep the whole thing one color, you can break it up. Yeah. The way you made it, you can customize it how you want. Yes, uh, up to you there. Um, and this nice. carbon lip is beautiful. Yeah. Very well done. Now, oh, thank you. What matches the front, yeah. but isn't on the car, yeah. is the rear bumper. Yeah. But we have photos of it, right? This is, this is unreleased, by the way. No one's even seen these yet, so you guys are going to be the very first people to see the Spoon rear bumper. This thing is going to be insanely beautiful, and again, functional. Yes, this hole through the high house air, okay. and uh, less uh, drag. Less drag. Yes. Very, very and, cool. Uh, uh, we think the Civic have image that simple. Yes. Coming around to the side here, they have brand new unreleased Titan 7 wheels. I'm loving the bronze. I think these things look so, so sick. The small little things that you normally would miss, you have these, these are convex mirrors, right, and they're anti-glare. Uh, yes. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. And coming around to the side, inside. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that you have the spoon steering wheel. And, oh, wait, I'm, I, I, I gotta sit in this. I gotta check this out. Oh, Daisuke. This, oh, I love it. This is really nice. It has a really good feel, good track feel to it. And uh, lighter than the genuine. So oh. take off the SLS. I like it. Yes. I like it. Very, very cool. How's the feeling, the bucket seat? The bucket seats are very comfortable. Like I could drive a long period and not get too tired, but they hold you in. They're a good yeah. race seat. Right. It's really well engineered. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And of course, finishing off the back, what spoon build wouldn't be complete without a swan, a swan spoiler, right? No, or crane spoiler. Crane, I'm sorry, of course. What was I thinking? <laughs> it's spoon. It's the crane spoiler. I like, it looks like you took the spoiler and literally just flipped it. Yeah. 
and the, and, and the arrow's gonna push the back of the car down. That's the idea behind it too? Yeah. That is sick. Daisuke, thank you for coming all the way from Japan and oh, thanks thank for helping for build some amazing spoon parts. Yes, thank you. Now, right next to Honda is, of course, dun 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 dun! The Honda booth. Wait until you see. I've been, this is my fifth year at the Sea Bump. This is the best Honda booth I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's check it out. Start real quick here because there's something I want to show you. Honda has all their swag in here, right? No big deal. Honda has some watches here, right? I have one of the new Meister Championship white watch. These are all authorized watches, and this is very important. Look at this yellow one. Why would Honda contract a company to make a Phoenix Yellow Type R watch if Honda wasn't planning on coming out with a Phoenix Yellow Type R? Sorry. There's a little bit of everything. This SI right here is it, it, it's completely built. Unfortunately, they closed the hood, but luckily yesterday I got some beer rolls, so I'm going to show that to you now. This build is just awesome from front to back. It's, it's a SEMA build. They touch every single aspect of this car from bumper to bumper, which I absolutely love. And speaking of cars change bumper to bumper, this N600, you guys have to see this. It has a VFR 800 motorcycle engine under the hood. And the way they set this up is really unique because they made the valve cover actually out of the gas tank. It's cool, right? Like it doesn't really look like it belongs in there, but it definitely is unique and it's been catching everyone's eye. It's molded and shaped to look period correct, but actually bring it up to today's period. So it's, it's very different and unique in the way they made it. The fender flares I'm loving. I'm loving the black on black wheels. If you take a look at the inside, it's a motorcycle engine, right? Look at how you shift it. They actually made little panel shifters inside there to shift it up and down. The only thing I haven't found out is if the car has reverse, because the bike didn't have reverse. So I'd be interested to know if they put reverse or didn't put reverse on there. One of my favorite cars of the show, 900 horsepower, Civic SI, drift car, rear wheel drive, powered by a Honda 2.4 liter turbo engine. Look at this thing. Just look at the lady, the tires, things are like that in the back. This is just stupid cool. Just all the little parts and the way they built this is just absolutely amazing. If you check out the inside, it's what you'd expect from a drift car. Nice, simple. And in a car you guys have probably seen many times before, the Super Street winning from 2000, the 99 Civic Si, period correct. I mean, it looks like it just came off the, the set of the Fast and the Furious. How are you, man? Absolutely love it, always love this build. Now, the SEMA show is all about accessories. So Honda definitely brought out the Ridgeline HFP concept. So this is accessorized with, I can't even go through everything, but it definitely accessorized with the sidebars, the additional wheels, the tent up on top, the bikes with the bike rack, the cargo rack up here. And most of the stuff is Honda branded. So you can actually go to the dealership and get this. And then they have a couple other cars that are semi-stock. These are J-Sport kits from a company out in California. And what they've done here is they've made a kit here. You can see the wheels. You can see the, the roof on top. It looks like they kind of flat matted this one, which I really like the color, it looks really cool. A side note, I'm not stepping on display, but I'm gonna show you something. I lied, I am gonna step on display. These here, these are actually rocks. These aren't foam, these are actually rocks. And there's a, um, there's a hidden ramp, that's how they get the car in there, but shh, don't tell anybody. I love this look though, it's very cool. Uh, Proctor Racing who does the, uh, the Ridgeline Baja car, helped build this Talon 1000R. So this is a, a Honda Talon that they beefed up to make it more off-road worthy. And I don't know how much we can see. I, I love it and I would love to take this off-road and see exactly how it's changed. Oh, I didn't even see the light bar, check this out. Very nice, redid the whole thing up there. So Honda started, of course, with motorcycles. And so they have some of the motorcycles here. They have a brand new Monkey 125. They have a new pipe, new suspension, bunch of go fast stickers. I like it though, it's cool. In fact, I'm thinking about a Monkey for myself. They have a couple other dirt bikes. They have the African Twin. And something that's gonna look very retro to you, but actually is brand new, 
is the Super Cub. Super Cub is the most sold motorcycle in the world. And this, even though, check it out, even though it looks like it's retro, this is actually a 2019 version. Super cool. The S800 Outlaw car. This was built by Daniel Wu and the car is amazing. In fact, I got to meet Daniel yesterday and check out the car. What's going on guys? Hunter for Jason here at SEMA 2019 with my new friend Daniel. Daniel, how are you brother? What's up guys? How you doing? Doing good, doing good. So one of the showstoppers here in the Honda booth is Daniel's 68 S800. This thing is sick, bro. Thank you, man. It is Thank so you. cool. So, so take me through what happened. Like, when when did you buy it and what condition it was it in? So I bought it a year ago from a friend who had had it for five or six years, and it came from England to Hong Kong, and then I shipped it from Hong Kong to the U.S. In the time that I saw it when it first arrived in Hong Kong, it was in great condition. I rode in it. It was great. Everything. Five, six years later, he wasn't driving, and I said, give it to me. Sell it to me. And I bought it and shipped it over here, and then that's when I decided to do the SEMA build on it. Unfortunately, when it arrived, I realized it looked good on the outside because it was all fiberglass, so no rust showed, but there was rust to hell underneath. I mean, it looked like someone parked it in the ocean and oh, just no. let it sit there for three months because the whole frame was totally rusted out. Mounting points were broken through, everything was broken through. It was not even fixable. So when we had to find a donor car in LA, which luckily I found one. I mean, it's so rare to find one of these cars, but I found one totally. of a guy who was many years in store 15 years ago and he just sat in his yard, slowly rusting away. But not, it was California rust, not England rust, not Hong Kong rust, so it was okay. good, it was easy. Good. So we chopped that up basically to to make this car work. And that so, was a convertible? A convertible. Okay. So we took the quarter panels off and the frame and we used all that to make this happen. So bring me through some of the modifications that make this a seam of Okay, so the whole concept of the design is uh, to make it gangster. Uh, originally the car is very cute, it's classy, sure. right? It's a K car, you know, it's very small and cute, but we want to make it look harder, a little more gangster, right? Because it has these lines that are like uh, an E-type Jaguar, um, some Alphas and things like that. that. So in a Jaguar is very gangster, English gangster, and we wanted to like play up on that feel of it. So one of the first collaborators that I talked to was uh, K. Mura from Pendem, Rocket Bunny. Yep. Uh, he wanted to do a 510 with me, and I did a 510 two years ago. I said, let's do something different. I showed him pictures of this, I said, and I showed him the concept. I said, I want to do this gangster thing with some body, uh, body kit on it with some flares, an air dam, and a tail. Would you <laughs> want to do it? And he's like, yeah, totally. <laughs> he thought it was such a unique, cool idea that he yeah. got into it. So, so then... When the car arrived in the States, we took it straight to the SEMA garage, did a 3D scan, sent him all the data, and four or five months later, he sent me back the kit, and it fit perfectly. Oh, is that cool? It was amazing, because you know, body kits never ever fit properly, yeah. right? And so somehow, I mean, because it was custom tailor made for this car, it fit perfectly. Everything, like, you know, usually fender flares are like, how's it go, how's it go? Sure. It just went, dunk, on perfectly That's like it. a suction cup, right? And so there's no question about it whatsoever. And so, so the whole rest of the design comes from that idea of like, if you were a low-level Yakuza gangster in Japan in the 70s, right? This is a 68, so 75 you acquire this. Your boss might have a 2000 GT or something cool like that. Yep. You have this, but how do you make it more gangster from a cute little car? Love it. So everything is modified from that era, period correct, in a gangster mode. So the wide body flares, the uh, front air dam, the tail make that gangster. The wheels are the stock wheels that we took out the centers, rebarreled them with seven inch barrels. So the original stock wheels, and eight inch in the back. We kept the original stock hubcaps, which were originally chrome with a black center. We painted them body color black with a red to talk about the future, which is a Type R. But it also ties into the red interior of the car, so it kind of pulls that so in. So tell me a little bit about the interior. So the interior was done by Danny from DJD Customs in Hayward, California. And he mostly does muscle cars. He's never done a Japanese foreign car before. And the brief was to really do the red was the issue was to kind of make that gangster but then bring in some highlight the more european elements of this car because we felt like this car in 1968 was honda's first car right and they're like so what else is everyone else doing so they probably looked at mg they probably looked at jaguar sure of course and that's how a lot of this design inspiration came from because it doesn't look like a typical jdm car you know and so we decided to play up on the european aspects of this car so the interior with the luggage rails i had an xke before that was red also okay. that had those luggage rails and everything in there so i said Go along that line, like keep the flavor of the original design, I love it. But, but add a little more European uh, element to it. This is the original four-cylinder dual overcam, 791cc, 
motor, high revving, right? Yeah. Like so we we all you know considered engine swaps. There's uh, some people have done S2000 swaps. Sure. I didn't want to die in the car, okay. so that's why I didn't do Smart that. Move. Yeah, and it's such a unique engine. I felt like we should just respect that and yeah. keep the original engine in there because it is a precursor to later what the S2000 was, right? And then if you go to the back of the car here, like the tail lights are different than the original tail lights. The original tail lights were kind of a D-shaped system. Oh yeah, yeah, there, yeah. But they were cracked and broken, and I couldn't find replacements. So okay. these are Ferrari tail lights, right? <laughs> and one thing that I wanted to play off it of was this oval shape is very similar. If you, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Alfa. Romeo TZ. Uh, it was a very interesting car that had a black plate. It was red. And so what we did was matted out this to highlight this this shape, this oval shape here. Love it. And we deleted the, it was an embossed thing for the lights to go in. And then to add one more thing to the European aspect of it was we brought the exhaust, which was a split exhaust to a center exhaust here. And so it looks very Italian or maybe even Jaguar. Jaguar had a yeah. four, four exhaust coming out the back. The idea is like to take that European thing and make it classy, cool, but gangster at the same time, you know. Well, well executed. Thank you very much. Definitely love it. Daniel, thanks for taking Thank the you. time and Thank talking to us much. a little bit and showing us the build. Yep. Hope you enjoy it. Honda has another brand in their display. They have a Chevy. The heck is a Chevy doing the Honda display? Well, as most of you know, this is a Chevy Apache. And this is the first truck Mr. Honda bought when they were on Pico Boulevard in 1959 when they came to the States. This is how they got around the motorcycles because Honda had no, no van no truck to bring them around, so they actually just use this. Honda rebranded it, you guys can see here if you get a close up here. They actually made it look like it was still old with the graphics a little bit faded here, which I really think is cool. And they put a couple of uh, bikes back here just like they did way back when. Honda's built on racing. In fact, one of the most famous quotes from Mr. Honda is, without racing, there's no Honda. So real-time racing brought out their race award-winning track ready and SX. They've won tons of championships in this. Peter Cunningham and the team loaned this for the event and it is, it's sick. It's sick to see the car in a show. It's extremely clean. I'm sure they detail the heck out of it. It looks outstanding. Oh, look at that, come here, come here, come here. Take a look at that dash. It's completely carbon fiber. The whole center of council's carbon fiber. Man, that is insane. Absolutely love it. Absolutely. Just, I, you know what's funny is I've seen this car probably, I don't know, 15 times in real life. I've never ever noticed the way the spoiler's built in here like this. This is all, this is, oh, I'm sorry. This is all, is it carbon fiber? No, this is all fiberglass. This is crazy though. Absolutely beautiful. So yesterday I was here and yesterday was my birthday and I was walking by and there's a comic book called Max Boost. And the original creator and author is Dennis. And Dennis was here yesterday. He did a special drawing just for me on my Type R. And Dennis is here today. So let's go say hi to Dennis real quick. Since he's here, he's a little busy as always, but we're going to interrupt him really fast. Take care of him. This is the last one for Sweet Symphony right now. I'm going to interrupt you just for a second, Dennis. We are filming right now. I talked about yesterday, my birthday, and what you did for me, by the way. Yeah, man. Thank you very much, brother. Yes, it was awesome. It was Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. Great meeting you. Hanging out with uh, Hunter Pro Jason. I remember watching the videos of him picking up his uh, FK8. That was dope. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Man. And I appreciate you, yeah, letting me uh, do a sketch for him. Oh, heck yeah. That was really fun. That That's was the really first cool. FK8 ever that I've ever sketched for him in our Phoenix Highlighter Yellow. Highlighter Yellow. Can't wait for your volume one to come out. Yeah, right on, yep. Here yeah, 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 yeah. This, I'm, this... Gonna put him, I'm putting him in this book. We got a picture, we're gonna put a photo of me and him up in here and that sketch, so anybody that didn't see the sketch, you're gonna see it in the volume one Max Boost yeah, uh, uh, issue, so. You know what, you I'll tell you what, remember at the very beginning of the video I told you guys I was gonna give away three of those skateboard decks? I am also gonna add an autographed copy oh. of the first edition from Dennis's new book. I'll do it. So done. He's gonna autograph it. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna ship nah, it out you to you guys. Buy it. Nah, I'll give I'll give you guys five of these. Five. Of what? Five. I will give you guys five side Max Boost Volume Ones just for the Honda Pro Jason uh, family. Right here. You heard it. It's on camera. Oh. So you guys get a good yeah. chance. To nice, nice, nice. Got all the okay, so, over here in the Honda Boost. So to enter, all you need to do <laughs> is in the comments. Tell me what your favorite Honda of this video is. You'll be entered to win one of five of these autographed and one of three of the skate decks. Dude, you're That's awesome. What's up? Nah, I anytime, it, right? every yeah, day, yeah. all day. 
I'm a Honda fan through and through. And of course, you're a Honda fan right now. So yes, we got to take care of each other, right? That's what's you up. You rock, brother. Thanks, brother. Yeah. You have fun with the rest of the show, man. We'll talk too. to you soon. See ya. Dude, oh my god. This is what happens when you're filming just, oh, that's so cool. OK, back, back to the cars, back to J-Sport. There's another J-Sport equipped vehicle. I love the back, the spare tire where they relocated along with the, the gasoline tank in the back. They got the wheels on. They got the tent up front. And the, oh, dude, just this company, J-Sport, does some amazing little things. And things like this I absolutely love because it, it, it makes it easy to get in and get out because you need these. You need these to get up here, right? You don't need those to be in your way when you're trying to get into the car. So they've designed them especially so when you open up the door, you can slide right in and not drag your feet against this. J-Sport, well done. We're going to do a quick spin here just for a second. I just want to show you the new yellow NSX. We've covered the NSX a million times, but of course, I love yellow. And this is a throwback to Honda Spa yellow. I, I love it. I would love to see more Hondas in yellow, like the, uh, the Type R, <clears throat> just saying. Honda's concept, first time I've ever seen this in person, their Type S. We don't really know what this is going to be. There's a lot of rumors. My official idea would be twin turbo V6. So that's what I've heard from the internet. And that's what they tell me. And this is going to be pretty sick because they need to bring back the Type S name because this is important to Acura in the brand. And accessories. How sick does this A-Spec RDX look, right? Brand new RDX brought up many, many times with wheels, carbon bits, a top rack, all Acura branded, carbon along the side of it. I mean, this is, this is sick. And, and the RDX alone, the RDX actually has the same engine as my Type R, turbocharged. I mean, all, this is what I like. So Honda thinks about their accessories. So if you look here, they could just put wheel locks on there, but no. They put gloss black lug nuts and a gloss black matching wheel lock. I mean, just the attention to detail, I think, personally, makes all the difference. And now a race car that you can buy. NSX Evo GT3 car. Don't, don't, you know what, Ben? I love you. The car, bro. Dude, I, look at this thing. Fully carbon fiber, bumper to bumper, ready for the track. This one's $525,000. So for half a million dollars, you buy an NSX supercar that's completely built out of carbon fiber, bring it straight to the racetrack and start dominating all the other supercars. Champions, 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 champions. You got to get a little bit of the inside here. I think you can see it through the open window. Take a look at the inside and probably get right through this little door here. That thing is sick. So what have we seen? We've seen the Honda booth and my car. Those are not all the Hondas at the show. Let's go outside. Let's check out the rest of the show. Outside the SEMA show at the Toyo Tire booth, working on my tan and checking out all the Hondas, starting with this carbon fiber NSX. This thing is sick. It's got like dry carbon with wet carbon. The bumpers are carbon. The lips are carbon. The hood is carbon. Actually, it's everything but the doors, what I've seen here. The roof is carbon. The rear quarters are all carbon. These wheels are sick. Sick. My God, these things are massive. Two 325 by 3020s. Rear bumper, rear lip, and then to match the hood, the trunk is dry. So they've done a dry and a wet, which normally I would say doesn't go together, but it works really, really well in this NSX. Totally love it. There are so many sick Hondas that look at. Got this red hatchback here, Civic hatchback. I love it. It's got, I mean, it's got red paint. It's got the wheels, silver bumpers, throttle bodies, and Jason, right, Jason. yeah, dude. What up? Ryan, dude, what's going on, brother? So, do you want me to tell you a little bit about the you know car? So I you would know, love, I would love you to talk. Like a dummy here. Yes, no. dude. No, seriously, tell me about your build, man. All right, so this is my buddy Brandon's car. Okay, um, he wanted somebody to finish it off. Willie Works did all the restoration on the paint, and uh, we came in and just went to town getting this thing finalized. So, let me tell you about it. We wanted to keep it a really retro theme, okay? These are the original color combo of this car. So if you go back to 1985, when this car was originally, you know, made by Honda, two-tone was in, retro was in, nice. right? So we wanted to keep it that same style. Uh, things like the BBR comp wheels, like maybe some people might not even know what that is, but it's an inky designed wheel. Cool. Okay, we went with spoon brakes. We got to keep it, you know, JDM, but era specific, but it's got to look a certain way. It's got to feel a certain way, right? 
So we used a B16B from a Civic Type R, but as you know, B16Bs are actually D-stroked B18Cs. Okay. So you can actually go two liter pretty easy. So this is a two liter done by Ken's Racing Engines. Wow. It makes 240 wheel horsepower, 165 torque. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a YouTube video where we're actually at the session, whole dyno session. You guys could, a lot of people don't believe me. And I saw it with my own eyes. I oh thought it was gonna make 210. It and made this, 240. And this is gonna be on your YouTube it's channel. It's gonna be on my YouTube awesome. channel. Awesome. Kinsler ITBs. Of course, one of our custom wiring harnesses. You can see the motorsport connector at the firewall. And then we're that using a we're using an AEM Infinity ECU. We got an AIM digital dash and one of our Rywire PDMs on the chassis. So there's no fuses or relays in the whole car. <laughs> and you can check it out. Let me, let me open the door for you there. Right. Wait, you said there's no there's, fuses there's and no, no relays in the entire no vehicle. No fuses, no relays. All the management is done right there on the floor. You see the EC, you see the PDM, that's it. You got a that digital dash insane. up front. And then the, that's why you could get such a clean look with the whole car. That makes sense. Like you don't even see wires going to the back. Everything is just a little, little bit hidden, but just when it's only one small loom running yeah. back for all the pumps and the lights, <laughs> it's easy to just eliminate it essentially, right? So this is a old school suspension. It's got pan hard, pan hard bar and torsion in the front. This is right. really old technology, but if you look, we have JRZ suspension. So this is a JRZ three-way. If you don't know what these are, look them up. These are about seven to $8,000 just for the suspension. So uh, wow. the owner's got really good taste. Everything is Mugen, everything is Japanese, and you know, Japanese component of the front lip spoiler, the mirrors. These mirrors are actually made for an EA, this chassis. They're just impossible to get. Wing. They're beautiful. I mean, they're, yeah, yeah, they're beautiful. Super cool. So um, a lot of it is really rare parts, really hard things to get. Um, the only way to build this car is to collect stuff, parts for it, right. for like 10 to 15 years. <laughs> and like literally that's what was done. But I'm, I'm glad you spent the time to show us because this is a build that people can walk by and they'll see the individual throttle bodies. They'll be like, okay, cool, and keep walking. Right, exactly. So now that you're showing us all the little bits, but it's definitely a showstopper. I'll tell you what's crazy is that you kind of think about it like, okay, this car is old. It's, it's you know, it, it might be a little bit difficult to build, but man, if you actually try to build something like this, sourcing parts, just getting sure. your hands on something that's not broken, something that like a dashboard that's not all cracked. Like this is when now we know that there's vintage Hondas and then trying to build something that now we're building classics. Right. Like we finally got to the point where now we're building classics. It's, it's our muscle mid. cars, right? Exactly. Yeah. And all the owners, I mean, a lot of these guys are older. They're, yeah. they're, they're closer to our age. And this is what they wanted when they were kids. When thanks they were in for, high thanks school. for saying that, by the way, well, our age. I really appreciate that. I got a couple years on you, but thank old. you. I, I, I'm only a little bit old. I'm 37, so uh, he's got some age, he got some age I, on me. But, some age but yeah, dude, like, I, no, I mean, totally. my uncle's a big car guy and he's 65 years old-ish. Cool. I don't know exactly, nice. but Brian G. Uh, we, had, we have guy, we have yeah. old guys in the industry, yeah. so you're good. <laughs> Brother, right. seriously, Dude, thank you so much you. for hanging out. Thanks for helping us show around the build. Cool, man. Of course. Okay. Excellent. Guys, so cool. Like, you meet everyone at SEMA. That's the cool part. I met everyone. Uh, Chris Fix was here from YouTube. Eric the Car Guy's here. Jason Fenske's here. Ryan from Rywire is here. Um, Otto from Nice Ones. I mean, so many amazing people here. And that's the kind of stuff you get. And this is the information you get that you might never have seen before until they explain it to you. So let's continue down the Toyo Tire booth. And I'm gonna walk by cars that aren't Hondas. So if you guys like them, that's really cool. It's not my style. So the SEMA show here at the Las Vegas Convention Center is really set up into a couple of different parts. You have North Hall, you have Central Hall, which is like the middle, obviously it's Central. That's where my car is. And then you have South Hall. And there's a couple other cars in Westgate. But you also have cars outside and inside. So it's a massive show. And I'm gonna to try to cover again as many Hondas as can, including this 666 EF, wow. K24 swapped, NA, so no turbo on it. And it's rye wire built. So there's gonna be, yep, here it is. It's, this is literally one big thick wire that's gonna go through the entire car. Instead of having all these wire looms and wires everywhere, it just cleans up the build. And this thing is sick. Come here. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Dude's got Porsche brake calipers on this. That is insane. I, I love the fenders. I love the mirrors. I love the inside. I just, I love this whole car. This is really, really, really well done. Sick. 
So the last couple of years of SEAM have been really difficult for me personally because there's been so many Civic Type R's at the event. This year because of uh, Toyota or BMW or one of those companies came out with a new Supra and that's what's been covering the event. So for me, there's a lot less cars so I can show you every one of them. Like this one here, this, man, I, I saw this the other day. I've seen this car at shows. It's Johnny Type R. So if you guys don't, I normally don't plug a lot of people, but I'm gonna plug Johnny. So check out his Instagram. The guy has some incredible cars. This keeps changing and evolving and new wheels and new splitters. It's always a little bit different and it is always got, come here. He's got the new hybrid racing shifter assembly, which looks sick. Absolutely. Yeah, big fat wing. I'm really liking this build. And right next to it is a Honda Racing. This is called the TCA car. So this is the car that you can buy from Honda in white body. Um, price is around 55,500. And it's a legit race car that you can buy from Honda. And then you can add some things to it, but you don't need to add anything. You can bring this car right to the track and run it instantly, which is insane. Come here, come here, come here, come here. So the cars you see on Instagram, the cars you see on YouTube, the cars you see on Facebook, the bigger builds are really nice. They're here. And this thing's sick. The cut bumper is, man. And it's not just, it's cut, but it's rounded. It's, oh, and underneath is beautiful. The, this spoiler is actually being held by the roll cage. It's actually bolted. Can you see that? It's bolted to the roll cage. That is sick. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful build. Man, I, I can't get over how much detail, detail, small things. Here, check this out. The small little details that make builds like this simply incredible. Checkered Sports, I talked to one of the guys yesterday from Checkered Sports and he told me some of the details and some of the things that went into this build and it, it completely blows my mind. Like you see the car and you're like, yeah, it's beautiful, but to realize, look at this, to realize that this is welded in the body of the car. Another right wire build, is <laughs> sick. It's just simply spectacular. Yeah, it's so nice. I know you guys know, but there are other cars in Hondas. I mean, they have massive, massive trucks. They have cars slammed on the ground. They have cars from the 20s all the way to 2017, 2019. They have food. The only thing they don't have is accessibility for the public. This is a private show. This is an industry only show, but there is a secret, two secrets. First secret is outside area. You guys can get in for free. There's no charge. Come on over, check out all the cars. You just can't get inside except for on Friday. Friday day, it's free to get in. You go inside and get the cars. Get there early because it gets crowded fast. Some Hondas are Hondas. Some Hondas aren't Hondas. This car is a Honda, but not a Honda. As you guys can see, it's clearly an S2000. Beautifully put it together. I really like everything about it, except for it's an LS swap from a Chevy motor. So they put a Chevy LS in the S2000, obviously for insane amounts of power. I've seen these swaps. These swaps are super common. I've actually seen a Viper motor in an S2002. It's, I think it's cool because it still looks like an S2000. Me personally would rather see the original F engine in there, but it still looks cool. Not all cars are really shiny and glowed up. This one here built by Tommy Pike Customs. Looks like it just got out of a war. I mean, this wrap is sick. Custom ECU, custom tune, custom exhaust. They, they have a lot of work put into this thing. And it looks like, I mean, it looks like a rally car, honestly. It looks like they built an NSX rally car. Very neat. Just when you thought that you've seen every car on Instagram and Facebook, one surprises you, and this one surprised me. I don't think I've ever seen this car before. Honestly, this thing is totally insane. Wide body 10th gen, 
man, those fenders are just stupid. Absolutely, and all the carbon and the, these mirrors, man. Come here, come here, come here. Took out all the red and replaced it with like, um, I'm gonna call it, it's not really an orange, almost like a yellow. Looks really sharp and it all matches. The stitching in the center console matches, the seats match, the back seat matches. Oh, this is a beautiful build. Well executed. Can you see the headliner? The headliner suede to match. I'm doing the suede headliner, by the way. The owner of this car, I'm just telling you right now, I'm stealing your headliner. I'm gonna put it in my car. Not the actual one, obviously, but I'm gonna steal that idea. Back is just as tough as the front. It's on an air suspension because, well, because it's sitting on the ground, but you can also see it right here. Again, keeping that yellow theme all the way through to the back. This is sick. This is a completely insanely sick build. Man, very, very, very well done. Haven't seen this piece yet. I don't even think this piece is out yet. Gorgeous, aftermarket, the taillights too. And they went all out on this build. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're at Hot Wheels booth and Hot Wheels has so many incredible, incredible builds. And they also have two Hondas here. One of the Hondas is a J series V6 swapped, supercharged S2000, look at this thing. Insanity, oh my God, talk about a Hot Wheels car. This thing looks like it's ready for battle. Man, this thing is sick, this roll cage, my gosh. The whole, I mean, just it just looks so raw and so mean. Like, don't get me wrong, I love show cars that are polished and clean like my car, but I also have to have mad respect for something like this. Like, it's like, it's like all beat up and all dented and all like war toilets cracked right here, actually. I love this thing. There's a little nitrous bottle in the back. Dude, I got, like, I literally, look at this. I literally have dirt all just from touching this car, which I probably shouldn't have touched the car and I apologize, but seriously, I, I did it to show how dirty and crazy this build is. Absolutely cool. So this is one of the Hot Wheels S2000s. The other one I'm gonna show you right now, come on. Oh, so I didn't even know what this car looked like. When one of the staff here told me that there was another Honda here and, oh my God. Car, I don't even know what, you know what? I'm not even gonna say anything at all. I'm just gonna look at it with you guys. The little detail in the, the cherry red. My God, and the hardware, just everything is insanely beautiful. What's up, Jason? Hey, dude, how are you? I'm good, man. How good, are you? good, good to see you, man. You're filming? Sorry. We're for no, no, no. I, I, I tell everyone the same thing. If I'm filming, you want to say hi, please interrupt me. Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to get emails that are, I, you're filming, you were bothered. I didn't want to bother you and say hi. That's why I come here. I come here to talk to you guys. Yeah, yeah. This feels insane. I mean, to see it in person is just, Simply spectacular. Oh, it's underneath it. We, we just undercoated it, though, but I really wanted to get the candy under there. I got the yeah. candy inside the fender wells, um, behind the dash. It's all, we sandblasted the car. It's, it, you know, the crazy beautiful. Thing? We did it in four weeks, everything. You built this whole thing in four weeks? Me and these guys, yeah. We built it in four weeks. Yeah, four weeks. Was Wait. it stock when you started? Stock-ish? <laughs> no, or it was, was it just it all was beat like, up? It was like, it was it was like a rough draft. That's we cool, got the, man. This is how we got the car back. Just like that. Okay. So no trailing arm. This is no. about this is about four weeks. And you turn that shell basically into this show car in the Hot Wheels display. Yep. It's awesome, brother. And That's awesome. Rock. Thank you guys. Every nine bolt was replaced. Yeah, it's in insane, bro. <laughs> in the driveway, jack stand. You guys rock, man. Well done. Here's something I personally never seen before. Take a look at this lip on this NSX. It's called Crush Carbon. And they have it all along the lip. And if you follow the car around, you come all the way to the back, the whole spoiler and this rear lip is all made out of this crushed carbon. It looks insane. It has a really unique, very track ready, track focused look to it. Looks really, really nice. And against the white, it looks beautiful. Come on guys, there's a couple other cars I really want to show you. So we have the Remark FK8. 
We also have a couple S2000s out here too. Hi. This thing is sick. I love the contrast of white and blue. I think it looks really good. The spoiler is just like, it's just the spoiler is just, literally, it's just like this. It's like, it's like ready. I love this look. Very nice. And it's, it's subtle. It's not totally over the top, but it's still perfect for SEMA. That lip looks good. It's a nice build, solid build, solid build. This is my friend Tommy's car from Go Tuning in Orange, California. I love this thing. It's, it's super clean from front to back. A couple little stickers showing off, you know, the Titan wheels and a couple of things. This fender is just sick, beautiful. And it's a, it's a legit CR, so it's a club racer. Very limited numbers. Honda came out with these with a couple of go um, lighten up parts. I shouldn't say go fast parts. They made the car lighter. The car was never a convertible. It actually came with a hard top. This is a really nice build. The fender flow looks nice. It's, like I said, it's not too much. It's just enough to set it off, but not make it look crazy. And the upgraded Brembo brakes I like too. Very cool. Swing around. I know you guys have seen this car. This thing is sick. Just absolutely beautiful. And that color just, on the NSX, the color completely pops. That thing is just sick. Man, oh, I didn't even see, look at all the carbon back there. That is insane. The whole dash and inset right there is all carbon. What a beauty, oh, come on. You guys are killing me. This is gorgeous, and that, I just, that paint. Absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful. Man, come on guys, you know what? I could spend all day looking at one car, but I know there's probably another, there's a bunch more cars to show you. We're not done, we are not done by a long shot. So cars are inside, cars are outside, cars are in the hallway. One of my more favorite 70 Type R's because it's completely modified from splitter to splitter, front and back, is this one here. Dude, let me tell you, first, congrats on being here, man. Thank you, thank and you. And the car is looking outstanding. Like, every time I look at it, it evolves more and more and more, and you have touched every part of this car. I mean, I don't know anything that's not been touched. Not been touched. <laughs> that engine bay is just beautiful. Man, and all the carbon on the carbon on the carbon on the carbon. And the, the headlights, these headlights are sick. And, and if you didn't see, by the way, dude's hood, look at this, shoot through here. It's plexiglass. That is dope, that is so dope. Inside, outside, whole interior is red. Seats are red, center console is red. Dash pieces are red, steering wheels red suede, and the rest is all carbon, carbon and carbon and carbon. Absolutely phenomenal. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Let's see what inside the truck's, trunk looks like, shall we? It's so light. Ooh. Guess what it's made out of? You'll never guess, carbon. If you guys watch any of my videos, right, you know I love carbon fiber, and this thing is just, it's sick, man. It's sick. So last time we spoke, you were talking about doing some panels, some actual carbon fiber panels. You still thinking about that? Oh, yeah. Dude, Sa Door, Savon makes some I'm sick. On. They should be here in about a week. Yeah. So carbon doors are coming. What's your Instagram again? One cleaner. One. one underscore CLN underscore R. Check them out, check out the build, you guys are gonna love it. Thanks brother, Good I appreciate it, right? you as well. SEMA's all about the unique and different builds. I'm here with Michael, how are you brother? Doing well. Michael's build, I've, been, I've known Michael for about five or six years now. This 2013 Honda Accord that started stock, I don't think there's anything else to talk about it anymore. No. It's completely custom from the, the seats, all the trim, this whole center console, the, the headliner, look at the headliner. And do I need to mention the seat belts? This is put together absolutely brilliantly, and we haven't even got out of the car. Not yet. Let's get out of the car. Let's check out the outside. This thing is crazy. What you guys are going to see on the outside is what it's going to look like a body kit. Big deal. Everyone's got body kits, right? Michael made his body kit out of metal. If 
fiberglass, metal. He molded this whole thing together. So this just isn't just plastic. It's molded all together, all the way to the back. Before I move though, V6 Turbo, by the way, the only one in California. Thing is sick. I've seen this car go through a couple different changes. Headlights were actually shipped. So these are the OEM headlights shipped to Japan and then reworked and brought back to you. So it's the OEM Touring headlights that were shipped to Japan and they added the chasing LED boards around the Honda factory projectors because those were already <laughs> such high quality that I didn't want to mess with it, but I did want to add additional LEDs on the right and left. Absolutely just sick. Show, show me what you got going in the back because you got a lot going on back here. So in the back, we've got continuation of the metal wide body that extends into the door. Oh, what a nice piece. And if you come back here, you can see it's all filled out. <laughs> the inside of the door jam is all filled out to look like OEM. That's really nice. And you did the same thing back here too, right? With this, the little lip spoiler? Exactly, we had a Because that was a separate piece from Honda. It's a separate piece, and so what I did, I had my metal guy, Kimson, at Ulterior Motives up in San, uh, Sacramento. Yeah. I had him create a metal duck bill and then mold it, Bro. shape it, and create I, it as one. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a full video just on your car. That's what we're gonna do. So look for that soon on his car, and we're gonna see the rest of the show. Michael, great seeing you, brother, and too, amazing builds. Thank you very much. Very cool. I'm sorry, I love FK8s, what can I say? This is cool, man. I really like this a lot. Nicely done. Got a harness inside. Got a, a roll bar, not a roll bar, like a harness bar and back. The wheels, ooh, oh, this is cool. Okay, okay, check this out. So I saw this and I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then I saw this underneath it. That is neat how it just brings everything in. Very, very nice. Team Hybrid, very, very good job with his builds. You can do, oh. <laughs> only Dell sold the show as far as I've seen. Things cool. Loving the paint, loving the paint. It just, you know, for me, it's the little things. So they uh, deleted the antenna and they put a little Dell Soul badge on there, which I really like. Interior screw upgraded the stereo, which is hard to do in Dell Souls, but it took a big fat subwoofer in between the two seats. I'm liking that a lot. And what do you have under the hood here, Mr. Dell Soul? Oh, they're, they're sticking with the single overhead cam, but they dressed it up quite a bit. It is looking good. Very nice build. Very nice. So I've been to so many car shows, it's tough to show something that really blows my mind, like completely blows my mind. This dude here made a Prelude pickup truck. That completely blows my mind. I've seen this online. I'm so happy to see it in person. Just take a walk around this thing and just check it out for a minute. He took a, what was pretty much a stock Prelude, chopped it back and made a pickup truck out of his Prelude. Totally sick. I mean, it's, it looks, honestly, if Honda made this, I would buy this. I would, I just think this thing looks so wicked, wicked cool. And the best part, come look at the license plate. Real utes. Cause it's like a ute, like, you know, it's like a, or you know what a ute is. Man, this thing is cool. Ah, so happy to see this in person finally. And what do they got here? It looks pretty stock, just a little uh, fancied up under there, but man, what a crazy unique build. Here you can see, I mean, literally, this is how we bought it. Went to that and then bam. So, as I said earlier, there aren't as many Hondas as last year because that Subaru BMW car came out, but the, the cars that are here are sick. I mean, look at this thing. Plexiglass hood, so he doesn't even have to take his hood off like I did, because you see the supercharger Kraftwerk sitting right under there. It's looking hot. It is looking really, really good. 
I'm liking the interior. He went really far in this interior too. The seats, the door panels, the headliner, everything's all redone. Back seat's been deleted, but with good reason, because you need room for the stereo and of course the nitrous. And look at it, look at this, look at this, look at this. That's cool. For me, it's the little details, you know? Anyone can put graphics on a car and put wheels on it, but when you start making small details, oh, bro. What's up, brother? Oh. I saw you, oh my God, I turned the lights on for my boy here. Good to see you, man. Look it, man. I'm liking this. You like it? Yeah, I gotta check out the back. Oh, bro. It's any color you want in there, man, you know? That is super, super this rad. Is, this is intense, man. I don't know if you've seen the actual back trunk. When we incorporated the, the trunk to the back, we wanted to keep the same theme. Yeah, for and sure. everything on this back, there's like total, you take, you take this down. Can you hold this real quick? So, we incorporated this back. I mean, being that it's all um, custom made back here, it's 243 magnets magnets back here, so we can access any panel in here. Oh, so oh, the, the magnets hold. Oh, I, I didn't even notice how that's yeah, all this molded. Is all, this is all molded by thin pieces of, 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 uh, of wood in the same shape and then contoured with the acrylic. And it, it was like separate pieces. It's like 120 hours of work back here. and. All the, the battery delete up front came to the back on a custom dual AGM battery, um, you know, setup down below. <laughs> and every, uh, it's all it's all magnetized. So we just pull this up. <laughs> Look at, oh, it's so clean. I yeah. love how that covers it. Dude, so that is so cool. So the batteries cool. down like that and all Bro. the aftermarket accessories are hooked up to, you know how when we were kids, we used to put like with our radios and amps, we used to hook it up right to the fuse box yeah, underneath and everything. Yeah, of course, sure. He cleaned all that up and we, not that I did that, but he cleaned it up. I like put it. the right relays and, and, and the distribution blocks and the uh, fuses back here and everything. So, and he ran one gauge wiring all the way up to the front for the for the batteries, man. Man, I am so glad you're hey, here to explain I all saw this, you, right? like, that's the Honda guy, dude. I'm like, what the hell? Great seeing you, man. I and appreciate this, it, man. Yeah. I, thanks for the, the view earlier, man. You're showing my oh, car on. My, and I was just my like, pleasure, dude, brother. My dude, pleasure. You guys are awesome, man. Yeah. Absolutely, by far the best SEMA show I've ever attended. Thank you everyone that came out. Thanks everyone that has celebrated my birthday with me yesterday. That's pretty incredible. All the other YouTubers that came out and gave me love as I give them. It was just awesome. Like it was just one big Honda Love Fest. Honda Love Fest. That's actually a good name for another event coming up soon. Come to my Honda Love Fest. Guys, don't forget, we are giving away a ton of stuff in this video. I have three of those skateboard decks. All you guys have to do is tell me what Honda in this video is your favorite. We also have five of the Max Boost books, volume one with me and my car in it, autographed by the original artist for you guys. All you have to do again in the comments below, just tell me which cars you like the most. And as always guys, this time from sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know. What's up guys?